name's James Panetta. I produce Mercs for Egozo Studios. What is Mercs, you ask? It's a sci-fi comedy series that follows the misadventures of a group of mercenaries throughout the galaxy. Currently, we're filming the first season, but we need funds to finish the rest of the episodes. Mercs is set in the year 2046, where a civil war on Earth has left the United Earth government outnumbered by the Federation and their alien allies. To build up their forces, the United Earth government has hired mercenary starships. Mercs is about two of the starship crews that cause the most trouble. Basically, it's a story about characters who are out of their element, but together somehow make things work out. The tagline, the heroes we can afford, says it all. Oh, do I have to do everything myself? Kill them! To give you an idea what the series is like, we'll have some cast interviews for you and show you some clips from the series that are currently finished. Alright, how's it going? My name is Chris Rines, co-founder of Ecozo Studios, co-star in Mercs. I play a character named Samson. Tyree Samson is a sergeant major in the UE. He works as a liaison between the Merc fleet and United of the Government. Uh, he's been assigned to uh, the, the, the Artemis and the Caladan, uh, much to his dismay. Uh, he works as babysitters pretty much for, for Creed and for Primo and their crews. And that always leaves him not happy. If you ever see a scene with Samson, he's usually got a frown on his face. Not a happy person. But he's a valiant fighter. And he's really strong. He's got those two cybernetic implants. He's a monster, that guy. Okay, he's not a monster, but he's a good soldier. He's a good officer. I guess your crew's getting pretty anxious, too. A lot of grumbling about cutting our losses and taking off. What do you think? Payoff's huge, but the risk. We're not leaving anyone behind. Regardless of how stupid or how annoying they may be. Look, I'll be honest with you. The only one I even like down there is Hunter. Oh, Denise. Look, I think that the warp drive they went down there for turned out to be something much bigger. Maybe then the stakes are much higher. We could just leave and come back with some reinforcements. We're not leaving anyone behind. You know better. Ow. Don't get smart on me because you know I have a conscience. And don't let Discreet do anything stupid. Yes, ma'am. My name is Jimmy Hewell. I played a character for Bryce Creed in an awesome new show, Mercs. Bryce Creed is a womanizing mercenary who steals things from people that deserve to be stolen from and loves every woman that he ever can possibly meet. Kirk has nothing on Creed. So, if you pledge $2,500, we can make more of these awesome episodes with Creed here, womanizing as always. collective of non-corporal aliens known as the Overon who float around in space and do all sorts of weak, like, awesome godlike things. But Sarah decides to fall in love with a human and she becomes human-like, but only for a certain amount of time. And when she uses up all her power, she's going to go back into the floaty mist of goodness. So what's the word? 
an underground structure about six miles inside of the anti-teleportation field, uh, that way. So far, everything agrees with the orbital scan. I still think it would have been wise to involve the rest of the crew. At the very least, more honorable. Uh, what are you, nuts? We haven't paid them in a month. If they knew we were going after Sark technologies, we'd have a mutiny on our hands. And going to an uncharted planet with unknown dangers is much safer? All right, focus. Now, we need to find that drive unit before the rest of our crew gets wise to what we're doing. Now, Sarah, you lead the way. The rest of you stay close, because we're burning daylight and I really don't want to find out what crawls around here at night. How long are the days here? <laughs> About 40 Earth Standard hours. Right, what they don't know won't hurt them. I don't actually use this in the show because Sarah has magical powers. She shoots things out of her hands. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford that. So what we need is for you to give us monies so that I do this and something comes out of my hands. Please? As you can see, there's a lot done, but we need more funding to finish off this season and to work on the next. So if you want to see original sci-fi programming, please, Donate. Every little bit helps.